And today I will be making our cinnamon toast muffin that we serve at our brunch on Sundays. I'll start out with the dry ingredients first in a bowl. So this is the flour. I'm going to mix in the granulated sugar. Then the salt, baking powder, and ground nutmeg. Our second step in the muffin is to whisk the eggs together, two whole eggs. And this recipe can be found on our website. So the eggs get beaten with the whole milk. Now you're going to add them to the dry ingredients. Going to whisk it up a little bit. The mixture is going to be a little bit lumpy. That's okay. And then I'm going to fold in the melted butter. This muffin mix is a bit denser than a normal one. Uh, you want the the mix kind of a little bit uh, chunky. You don't want it mixed too much. Our next step is to scoop the muffin batter. Now I use um, a, an ice cream scoop. I find this is the best way to get a consistent size of a muffin. You can also use a spoon if you'd like. These muffins get baked at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes until they're golden brown. And the next step is when these are still warm from the oven, they get dipped in melted butter and then coated in cinnamon sugar. The butter gives flavor and it also makes sure that the cinnamon and sugar stick to the muffin. These are our pecan sticky buns. It's buttery and crispy on the outside, yet soft in the center. This is a chocolate chip scone buttery biscuit uh, loaded with chocolate chips and sparkly sugar on top. Uh, these pastries are available from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock with coffee. We have a new brunch coffee and pastry hour. Our brunch starts at 11 and ends at 2. Our guest favorites are a key lime pie with a traditional graham cracker crust and whipped cream on top. I also serve it with passion fruit sauce and sesame twill cookie. Another of the favorites of our guests is a butterscotch pot de creme. It's many different layers in a glass. It's butterscotch pudding, milk chocolate ganache. It's topped with a scotched vanilla milkshake made with our house-made vanilla ice cream. And it's topped with chocolate almond brittle and served with butter shortbread on the side. I love baking and I love pleasing other people. You never know what you're going to get because everything here is made with love and passion.